<laughs> the cameraman put pit eye to that hot that East Side will win a Ballon d'Or before Haaland. How do you feel about that? That's one of the most ridiculous things I ever <laughs> we, Yeah, Harlan, I agree Harlan with gets that. gets a lot of disrespect. Yeah, too Harlan gets disrespect. too much disrespect. He's an actual striker and yeah. he's like so ridiculous about yeah. it. It's a crazy statement, but I see where he's coming plus, from. Isn't mm. he, and plus, he's only 20 billion, or he almost has 300 goals. Uh, Click 45 are back for a little end of Premier League season awards. We're going to do a team of the season. We're going to look through who we think deserves some positions. To my right, I've got Big Dan, Man yes. United fan. Come on. Happy guy. with the way the season ended for you lot? Listen, it's all about today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> FA Cup today final. Today made that difference. Yeah, you know I mean? fair enough. At the time of recording, obviously, we don't know, but what's your prediction? 2-1 United. Dreaming. Dreaming. <laughs> Dreaming. And then, Last minute things. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea fan Ali on the opposite side. And obviously, we've got a special guest, Chelsea fan, Jazabek. Welcome to the channel. How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah. Good, good. So we are going to do a team of the season, like I said. We're going to start from goalkeeper. I've got some nominees for you guys, so I'm going to read them out to you. Let and me guess. Raya, Allison, Edison, etc. Well, you're, you're not too far off. I'll say the names then. Let's just start off. So it's Jazza Beck has started us off perfectly. Allison, Emmy Martinez, Jordan Pickford and David Raya are the nominees. David Raya. You think David Raya? What about you, uh, Big Dan? What do you reckon? Did uh, Raya win anything? Raya won the Golden Glove. <laughs> won a, he won the Golden Glove. You know, he went bad, you know. He uh, weren't too bad. He won amazing. I think yeah. that defence, yeah. Arsenal have got a very yeah, good yeah, defence. Exactly. And they're very... I, I watched some of these individuals say he's had a couple, but as a keeper... In general, it's been season, a bit shaky, hasn't it? He hasn't been that that great. Yeah, yeah for me, he's a mid-level black like, Premier League keeper. <laughs> mid-level? I'll tell you about mid. I'll tell you about mid. He might be the best of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, Sanchez, a lot of them are all in the same bracket. Go on, Jazz. Well, but put Allison. That's gonna be way too obvious. But I feel like Allison hasn't he played didn't play enough. enough in this yeah, season. I mean, yeah. like, he should be. He he was yeah. put, hasn't he been injured? Yeah, he has been injured a lot. That's what I mean. He hasn't played a lot. So I feel like we could write off Allison if you want. We don't need to put Allison on there. What was so the other names there? Uh, Pickford and Emily yeah. Martinez. Yeah. Pickford, Pickford deserves Pickford's a shout. Pickford's Pickford been a very good yeah, goalkeeper yeah. this season. Yeah, egg- especially with Everton. Uh, and they concede a lot of shots as well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's conceded a lot of shots. Save percentage is very high for him as well. One of the yeah. best in the Premier League for it. I feel like he's a very good shout. I'll, uh, we'll go through... But the you fr- have to go with we'll the go- one, with the team that has the least amount of goals conceded in the league this season. And who's that? Arsenal. So you want to go David Raya? Yeah. Jason Beck votes David Raya. Uh, Ali? I vote Pickford. Pickford. Dan? I'll go Raya as well. Raya? Oh, uh, I'll go David Raya as well. So that I is... <laughs> wanted to keep out the Arsenal players. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Arsenal goal. Don't go Chelsea, <laughs> <laughs> Try and be fair. It, try and be fair. Oh, well, yeah. And we all know there's only one Chelsea player coming to this team of the season. We know that Chelsea... Yeah, not just one. Not just save one, it later. Really. Save it, yeah. Jazza I'm fighting for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let us know in the comments below who do you think should be the goalkeeper. Should it be David Raya? Should it be one of the other nominees? Or should it have been someone not even mentioned? Let's go over to Raya. Right back now the nominees for the right back position are Trent Alexander-Arnold uh, ben, White. ben White Malo Gusto yeah. and Pedro Porro are the nominees for the Ooh. right back position no Dallo no, no Dallo no Diego Dallo <laughs> Dallo is insane what are you laughing at <laughs> I'm not laughing I'm not the one okay. laughing just because he's really not his best player it doesn't really well, Gusto, be Gusto ain't been that good man I don't, Bro, I don't Gusto like this whole first Gusto season been in the Prem he's been like, unreal me. there's no winger that's ripped him in the Prem the only Ooh. winger that ripped him is the Leicester winger that's it Dallo. and that was FA Cup we ripped Dallo. yeah Dallo, you know, Dallo. Dallo. Yeah, he got exactly. ripped the other day, bro. In your last game of the season, I think it was a good game. Gusto gave some assist to Cole Palmer's goals as well. Yeah, very Gusto's, important. Yeah, very important for your attack. He's, 20 yeah. he's been very important to us as well. 21 years old. I'll build up 21 everything. years old, do you know what I mean? He's young, his first season in the Prem, he's filling in for the best right Dallo back scored. in the Prem. But bugging, did Dallo not score? I don't think Dallo scored this season. He not scored the last game. He might have done. I, li- I didn't pay attention to the last no, weekend. It was pa- Palace, he got cooked against Palace. Yeah, Dallo pa- got Palace was techie still. Palace, Palace was techie. Man United. Well, don't you think in, in the Liverpool was Gusto? I don't know why Gusto and Porro are in there and, and Dallo is not in there. I can't lie. That's. that's I mean, we can talk about Dallo. We can talk about Dallo. Well, but it's fine. isn't Ben White like obvious because 
When it comes to right back, most assists. Isn't he the most assists for right back this season? Yeah, most assists, most chances created from right back as well, I think Ben White is. He's he's gone above Trent Alexander Arnold in those uh percentages. Just because he's playing a better team. Is is that all it's down to, you reckon, with he's Ben not, White? He's not better than he's not better than Trent. I'm not saying that, but this yeah. season is he not being the better player? And plus, well, I don't yeah, Trent's, that been out. Trent's been out a bit as well. Yeah, so and I mean. plus in the Liverpool game, he's got like that screamer in the four three one against the uh, Fulham. Yeah, oh, yeah, what, yeah. Ben White? No. Trent oh, sorry, Trent. Trent yeah. Oh, yeah, one. of course, the free kick. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Um, what about Pedro Porro? Do you want to talk about Pedro Porro for a bit? How good he's been this season? He's been decent. He had a good start. He had a very yeah, good start. But, yeah. but I like, I like, like that Spurs team falling off. <laughs> yeah, they did, <laughs> they did fall off. They did fall off. You did. Like, ev- yeah, every single player he just fell off. Well last yeah, game, yeah. Pedro yeah. Porto did play well, but I do agree he with that. He had a good right back, to be fair. Yeah, he's not yeah. a bad right back. But, I, but they were doing like a league team on the season. Yeah, don't worry. We'll do yeah. that. Let's focus on this one. Is, I'm going for Ben White. Ben White has been voted for by Jazz. What about you, Ali? I put my Chelsea by it, so I've gone for Ben White. As okay, well. Benny Blanco. I was, Blanco. Hoping, I was you. hoping you didn't. What are you going for? Trent. Trent. Fuck White, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, g- I'm going to go for Benny Blanco as well. So that's Benjamin White into the team of the season. Two Arsenal awesome right players. Two Arsenal awesome awesome players, you know. Be careful here, guys. <laughs> so Dallow didn't get in this? Dallow, no. no. Okay, so we're going on to the centre-backs. <laughs> and if you think about United's players in that, you're going to be dreaming. <laughs> but I'll read out the nominees. <laughs> Brilliant. William Saliba, Gabriel, Virgil van Dijk are sort of three nominees. They are three nominees. Um, uh, Mickey van der Ven, uh, Pau Torres, Ezri Kotsar, Max Kilman, Jared Brantway, and Manuel okay. Akanji okay, is so well. Putting on yeah. Saliba and... Okay, I'm going to go Gabriel and Van Dijk. You want to go... Why those two? And Because Gabriel, what? It's the most goals for the Premier League centre-back this season, and Virgil Van Dijk, no to draw past him. I'm pretty sure he's also most tackles one, most ball recovery one, etc. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. I think... No. Do you think he's been the better defender? than William Saliba this season. Definitely. Well, apart from the Liverpool game, uh, I would say, yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's fair enough. What about your guys' thoughts on Gabriel? this se- Well, Gabriel and Saliba, we'll do them two together. I am highly still. Um, Gabriel, I've gotten onto him a lot. Yeah? He's been a bit of a bozo. <laughs> um, I think I he's like really he's, turned up. I feel up. like he's leading. Like, he reminds yeah. me of like a Vidic. Yeah, he's yeah, not, yeah. He's not as good though, but like, just um, that character, the personality that he has at that back. Yeah, that, that, I think it's needed. I like my centre backs that are aggressive as well. Yeah, I agree with that. That Arsenal partnership is very. And Man United goals, goals in it. Virgil van Dijk this season. I love my centre back scoring goals. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the other nominees? Mickey van der Ven? What do we reckon uh, about he him? He started off brightly, but yeah. it, it just it's honestly, off a little bit. I think that high line set up Tottenham's defenders, isn't it? Like, yeah, set them up to fail. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's, it's yeah, caused yeah, injuries, a lot of injuries that Tottenham high life. You want to say something, Jazz? I can see you buzzing for something. Well, the thing is with Saliba... Yeah. Uh, I don't know about this, but... He is a good... He's like top three front centre-backs. He's better on McConnell, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but comparing to Virgil van Dijk, I think it's so un... It's something so nonsense. Because you're comparing a young centre-back with potential to a guy... In his prime, that was seven votes off of winning a freaking Ballon d'Or. Yeah, so that's wrong. You, so you're <sighs> saying people shouldn't be doing that? No one should be comparing Saliba and Van Dijk? No, especially Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. Like, in his prime. And plus, no, like I said, this season only drew past Virgil van Dijk. No. All right, fair enough. Yeah, and um, I think Gabriel deserves to be in there more than Saliba. Okay. Because he's, he's turned up. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saliba's yeah. got an easier job on that right side with Ben White, so tucked mm. in. Gabriel's playing with either Zinchenko or Kiwi or, or it's always different is, isn't yeah, it he's so got it's a adapt to the job. left back who but Zinchenko's not even great at defending exactly. no, he's so not. he's got a cover for him as well yeah, yeah. No, Gabriel deserves to be in there Gabriel still. can be in there is Gabriel okay we'll move on to the Aston Villa boys Pau Torres and Ezri Konza who got nominated as well what do you guys reckon I don't I'm not talking because I haven't seen Aston Villa this season that's well, fine Konza I, 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 I hear uh, Torres yeah. not as much no nah, it's more of a shout isn't it That yeah. uh, to, towards Aston Villa's defense that's how well they're yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. They've Final caught team. a lot of teams offside this season. They're, they've caught the most teams offside, I feel. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they, they've been very good this season. Um, Max Kilman, Wolves. I feel like Wolves need a very good big shout-out for the way they've been 
performing this Gary season. Gary O'Neill needs that shout out. Yeah, yeah man, Gary O'Neill's been really good. Yeah. Fell off a bit though. They have a little bit, but I feel like for the standards that Wolves have, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a bad yeah. thing. The struggles that they're going through. Like Wolves are struggling financially. Isn't yeah. It? Can't. yeah. And the fact that they got someone that's like Gary O'Neill. Well. Yeah. 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 The fact they got someone And like... they did a double over Chelsea. Yeah, <laughs> they did, they did. Yeah, Gary O'Neill has got a lot of stuff to be proud of. But Jared Branthwaite, another name that's been... The Everton... Said that, like, yes, you're Cole right. Palmer ripped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What that you... game was bad for him, bro. <laughs> Cole Palmer that ripped him a new bad. one, bro. It, I mean, again, he's still young, isn't he? So yeah, he's got yeah. time to improve. So I feel like this is more of a, again, a shout out rather than and he's going to be the team. Isn't Gabriel like 26? Um, I think he's around 25, 26. You might be right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, who were your two centre backs then, Jazz? Van Dijk and Gabriel. Van Dijk and Gabriel. Yeah, I'm with Jazz on this one. Gabriel, like that Gabriel? Gabriel, yeah. I only ah uh, Casemiro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I want to say Saliba and Gabriel to be honest, but I yeah. just don't want it to be Arsenal dominated. No, I'll, but I've been outvoted anyway. Yeah, Van Dijk and Gabriel for me as well. I feel like that's the that's the best two centre backs we could go for as well this I'm season. Pretty sure Robertson is not a nominee for left. I don't know. Van Dijk has had a couple of moments this season, um, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, so at left back, the nominees are. Emerson Palmieri from West Ham, uh, Robert Anthony Robertson from Fulham, uh, Josco Andrew Robertson. Sorry, you're right, Andrew Robertson. Is it Andrew? <laughs> Are you sure? I swear it's Anthony. No, it's Anthony. It's Anthony Robertson. Yeah, it's Andrew the Fulham. Robertson. That's Fulham. the Liv- oh, oh yeah, yeah. You're all about the Liverpool left back. Oh yeah, com- ah. two different people. Well, that's fine. Anthony Robertson, Fulham left back. Josco Guardiola, the Man City left back, and Destiny Udogi as the left Guardiola. back. Guardiola for yeah, you. Yeah, no, but what, are we talking the last three months or are we talking the whole season? The whole season? Guardiola. Even if I'm putting the last three months, it's better than he blows everyone out the wall. Yeah, but at the start of the season, he was shaky. Yeah. He wasn't the guy he that was shaky. Because yeah. he's not originally a left back. That's a pet thing. You can't put with the Bayers exactly. into a team of the season. The recent Bayers is where you look at it as a collective, yeah? Mm. Their team won the league, bro. Yeah. yeah. And he was very pivotal in that. Yeah. And he was yeah, also but, pivotal yeah, in but, UCL, scoring big goals. Yudogi fell off, right? Um, Robertson that plays for Fulham sorry he's he wasn't better than Guavio he's good though, oh he's man. good bro. He's, he's the most consistent left back this season yeah, everyone man. else has had ups and downs Anthony Robertson has been probably the oh, best if you're looking at like stand oh, yeah, plus, quality did he really live up to that 90 million pound price that Guardiola look the good games he had were what, Fulham uh, Man City Real Madrid first leg yeah and what else uh, players don't pick their price tag though I can't <sighs> Yeah, that's true as well. That's a, but, that's a pep but thing, don't playing him out of position. But don't you think it was overhyped? Guardiola meant he signed him first. Mm. We yeah. wanted him. I wanted bit. him, though. I would have yeah. loved to have got out. I always saw him on FIFA, like, manager and that. Mm. Um, so I would have like football has now been in Gado with FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't compare FIFA to football. <laughs> I mean, he's football. balling out right now, so FIFA is right. No, okay, well, what about Destiny Udogi? I think he started pretty well there. Yeah, 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 I just, it's Tentacles just the injury. first, starting well there, <laughs> falling yeah, off. Exactly. Like, so true, like in 2021 season when they were like, <laughs> damn, we're pulling out to war on top, but then they fell off. Yeah, you're right, they did fall off. Uh, what about Emerson Palmieri, the West Ham he's left back? He's had a good season. Yeah, yeah, yeah former season. Chelsea player as well, Emerson. Oh yeah, and scored against Atletico Madrid in this run of 16 second leg in 2021 oh, there you go yeah. he has lapses of concentration though so yeah. he's always had that. That's his, his consistency yeah. is bad isn't it yeah. yeah he's not being picked for the Italy squad either as well so that I oh, think that tells you oh, it, is it yeah the okay. quality Guardiola let's just who are the other options uh, Udoki the Everton left back and uh, not Everton the Fulham, one, Fulham right? left back yeah. Anthony Robertson and Emerson Palmieri as well as Guardiola and Udoki I'm going for me. It's Those Anthony Robertson. Anthony Robertson. Left back's been a poor season. Yeah. yeah but, by the way, players. left back has been a terrible group of players. Look sure was in the back. That's right. Not the price we paid in there. Can't assume. Not the price that Robertson isn't in because he's been injured. Yeah, Andrew Robertson. Like a gorilla. Last two months, he's been a revelation. Nah, man. Not two months. Not a two months thin. <laughs> I can't have well, that. That's what we do for Guardiola, bro. No, Guardiola. Guardiola's been hanged. Guardiola scored. You're taking the Mickey. At least Guardiola scored in a. Scored against uh, Real Madrid and that basic and scored against Fulham. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so what, what's everyone voting? You're going Guardiola, Jazz. Yeah, yeah. Ali? Robinson. Rob, huh? Robinson. R- Robinson. Yeah, Anthony Robertson. Guardiola. Guardiola. Yeah. I'm gonna go Anthony Robertson. So I feel like we need a tiebreaker here. Director, do you want to give a di- little thing? I'm on. Go on, take take the mic, Dan. Pass over the mic. 
Let's see what Let's he says. Director. Go on. We need a, we need a tiebreaker. I'm gonna go for Guardiol because I ain't seen Fulham. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, so it's gonna be Guardiol. That's fine. Guardiol is our left back. Next position is the midfield. CDM. So we're gonna do a four three three. So I've got a group of players. All of them are just like different players, like different um, positions. Okay, yeah. so we just need to pick three of them. The nominees are Rodri, Foden, De Bruyne, Rice, Odegaard. How De Bruyne? They've been in the part of the season. He's still up there for assists, still up isn't there. He? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, still good. Yeah. yeah, Rice, Odegaard, Douglas Luiz, and Pascal Gross for Brighton as well are the nominees. <laughs> Who do you want to go for? So this is midfield three. Yeah, yeah it's a midfield three. So we need yeah. one CDM. I feel. And I feel like that head to head is between Rodri and Rice. Rice. What do you reckon, Jazz? Mm. Rodri. You reckon Rodri? Rodri has been the better CDM. Yeah. Man, yeah. Man, and plus, Rice, Rice, now it's been a year since he lost the game. Yeah, you're right. It's just a shame that Rice has to go against Rodri, isn't it? It's yeah. The class I mean, is different. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, if you want, we can have both in the midfield. Yeah, because Rodri Rice has him. been a bit more of an advanced player for Arsenal. He hasn't been like that. I not that role still. What's that? I don't really like him playing that role that much. No? Yeah, I prefer him as DM. Me personally. Okay, I don't think I don't think enough. Rice is an eight. You don't think so at all? I think he plays it really well though. He, he can do it because he is very box to box, isn't it? Yeah. But I yeah. think for a team like Arsenal, mm. he, he he misses that intricate passing in exactly. the other side, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Will he have that the quality. shot power to do it like like at least every two games, yeah. like a typical Box to box midfielder. Yeah. <coughs> I okay. agree. Cole Palmer has to be in this team of the season. Second most <laughs> Premier League. <laughs> he's in a different yeah, position. Yeah. He's in a different position. He's not in the midfield, but uh, we got also Phil Foden as a midfield option. Foden's in there. For Foden has to be in there. I think yeah. everyone's agreeing on that, right? And don't forget, he scored that screamer against West Ham. Mm. Well, and he scored in against Brampton. He scored a, a bridge against Man United. He scored against. Real Madrid where he was like caught into the top yeah, corner yeah, yeah. yeah you're right I left that uh, so Foden is older got Foden, 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 Foden that leaves one spot so that's le- one spot left it's either Kevin De Bruyne Odegaard Douglas Luiz Pascal Gross what are we going for Douglas Louise. You wanna why Douglas Louise? No, I'm not, I'm just, no, I'm not okay it's either <laughs> Odegaard or De Bruyne <laughs> no, like yeah, yeah 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 he doesn't feel comfortable with that one why not who, who do you think Odegaard Louise Gross, who's been a better player? What about Alexis Mack? Who's that? McAllister. Oh, McAllister, yeah, yeah. He's been good as well. But yeah. I just feel like Liverpool in general has just been a bit inconsistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Especially yeah. in the last two months. Yeah, so I feel like McAllister getting in there is a bit difficult. Also, the, he's played everywhere as and well. And what are Liverpool fans saying? Dominic Thomas like, he's not going to Steven Gerrard. <laughs> they're laughing at themselves yeah. for that one. I That's the biggest highlight. Like, <laughs> Dominic Sabos like, has been missing. Crazy. He, that is right. He has been missing for a while now. And, uh, and a lot of people, and a lot of people like, with Kai Steele, yeah, he made, he made people say, you know the word flop, it just be, should be yeah. gone. Like, what? Yeah, if, get rid of it. Yeah. Who, so, oh, yeah, plus, as he, plus, ever since that worst time, He's been getting. Let's I'm just say sure Enzo made him look bad. against Man United, he gave an assist. He gave yeah. an assist to Wayne Stone's goal in the 3 2 1 against uh, Nottingham Forest. And Kai Seo scored an absolute. He scored halfway. Goal of the season. One of the goals of the season. <laughs> of, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, who won goal of the season? Garnacho. Garnacho. Yeah, yeah. Garnacho. Um, I think it was. Enzo basically is the liability in that Chelsea team. That's Enzo's everyone needs to know. Enzo's injured. Enzo's <laughs> been playing with an injury all season. When what? Do, see, we're going to say that. You're not allowed to say that because when we used to say that about Rashford, they, need, they need a Lavia. It was never allowed to run. They need Lavia back and then that midfield is complete. So what? Lavia, Caicedo, and Enzo. Yeah, yeah. What about Caicedo and Oh, Cassidy, he, he, mm. he's a decent shout, but I haven't seen, seen him much. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Brought him back from Leicester for him to sit on the bench all season. It yeah, weird. yeah, it's Bad true. Business. So who's our last midfield option going to be, Jazz? We have got De Bruyne, Rice, Odegaard, Louise, or Gross. What would De Bruyne uh, he, he He had that one game against Newcastle, I think it was in January. When he came back from his injury? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I think. But if you you did it based on an entire season. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's... and have to be Odegaard. Okay, Odegaard. Yeah, as much as I don't want to, <laughs> I think it is Odegaard. Odegaard. Yeah. Odegaard. Odegaard. Everyone's going for Odegaard. Cool. So that is the midfield free. What about the right wing? Salah, Kudus, Bukayo Saka, Cole Palmer. 
is the right wing option. Easy, easy answer. Easy Cole answer. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer straight away, isn't it? Cole. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I only found out no, that he got thing. blacking in the other day. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Every, Okay. Oh, yeah, did yeah, we yeah. expect him to become the second highest goal scorer in the league this season? No. Outscoring Watkins, uh, Solanke, Isaac. He even outscored all of Arsenal's attackers Come this yeah. season. Yeah. You know that player that you want to hate so bad, but they just keep turning up. Yeah, there's you're not a lot of reason. There's no reason. Yeah, there's no reason. The late winner season. against, yeah, yeah. against in hat trick against. Inst. Uh, United. Is it not United? Yeah, poker yeah. games. Is it four against? It's got back to back hat tricks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. first player then struggled yeah. to do it. Yeah. In nine, it's in nuts. Nine, you know how ten. starved we were of like players that scored twenty goals a season. Yeah, yeah. I know. And now you've got yeah. Cole Palmer doing it on his first season. Can I ask and plus, he's been carrying Chelsea. Yeah, by the way. Can he? Can he? I'll ask the question. Can he do this next season? Do you reckon he's got the ability to do that? No yeah. doubt about it. I, I yeah. do. He looks yeah. like he does. He can. Yeah. But it's better not team, easy better, to do it with this better team coach and the players are playing well because he's carried. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally carried. Some of the goals that he scored, it's just that. It's just him. Yeah. I mean, people want to talk about hard. penalties. Hello. Only nine of his goals were penalties. That's yeah. less than half. That's a lot. That's a lot of penalties. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but even pen- yeah, but penalties. penalties, you got to score them. Exactly. To not miss a single penalty yeah, yeah, yeah. all season, yeah, is the an pressure is mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially it's when you've got players like Madureke and Jackson trying to Fight take him from you. Like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Still yeah. And the up. poker against uh, Albany scored with his left, right, head. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. I mean, okay, so by the looks of it, everyone's going Cole Palmer for yeah, right. Yeah, get the guys out of here. <laughs> Not even a mention of Mohamed is, Salah. Nah. Uh, what? This is uh, his, I mean, with Mo Salah, the thing is with him, this is his lowest ever season when he hasn't scored more than 20 in the league. And plus, he's been missing against in the crucial end of the, end of the, what? He was, he wasn't there against Atalanta, uh, when, Liverpool needed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that yeah, Europa yeah, League game. From time season. Klopp stopped trusting him. That's when you know yeah, it's been. Yeah, a, it's ever been since he said, him. if I speak, there's hell or whatever he said. That's <laughs> he's yeah. leaving then. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, you know, because if Klopp's leaving, maybe there's going to be a bit of calmness in that Liverpool yeah, yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, maybe, I don't think he'll leave. It, it just depends yeah, on what the actual issue was. When, and you got to yeah. remember, last summer it was 150 million bid for him. Yeah, this I summer, feel like they regret that. You're not getting 100 mil for him. Nah, I think they regret that deep down Liverpool. Would you have taken that? Option, Jazz, hundred fifty million for Salah last se- last summer. No, you wouldn't have said it. Hello, mm. he's gonna be, once he he's gonna become one. He's probably become the best ever right winger that Premier's ever seen when he when he retires. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, he's but he's the best, highest uh, ever African goal scorer in Premier League history. No, he will be yeah, up there with yeah. the best right wingers in the Premier. Yeah, but compa- um, top five, Gareth Bale. Least. Gareth Bale, I think, has got yeah, the yeah, yeah, Gareth right Bale's got the minerals to be. Uh, but he's not, he just didn't do it for as long in the Premier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if, if we're talking who people prefer as a player, so, oh, Salah's yeah. got a good claim on that. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sal- yeah, definitely he does. Salah or Hazard. Hazard. <laughs> I thought you were going to disappoint me for yeah, a second. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to see because the way he's gassing up uh, Mohamed Salah, I thought maybe Jazabek might go for uh, either uh, Mohamed Salah, but that's cool. Um, left wing position. This is another sh- uh, shoddy group of players, right? Because I can. Yeah, Martinelli find... is in there. That's a disgrace. He's not. He's not. <laughs> We're walking out if he's I've got, <laughs> I've got Anthony Gordon, Leandro Trossard, and literally I put Phil Foden again because he has played that position. <laughs> because, uh, but I am very open for this position for like not the shouts. Any shouts for left winger you want in this Come team? Come on, isn't obvious. Phil Foden. You want Phil Foden, it's but we put him in the midfield. Oh, so yeah. what we can do <laughs> is take him out of the midfield and put him in the left wing position. Uh, so we'll swap him for Conor Gallagher. And then we'll put... No! <laughs> no. <laughs> what no, do you want? the midfield then you could put either Rice or De Bruyne in there. Yeah. Wait, no. that's what it, that, well, that's what it's going to come down to. So we wait, got... wait, wasn't the midfield free? Odegaard, Palmer... Rodri No it was Rodri Odegaard Foden And then Palmer's Our right winger Oh yeah So we need one more Midfielder now I think now. Gordon's Got a shot I think Anthony Gordon man. Man. Gordon's been real good This season yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are happy With Anthony Gordon As the left winger What about you Ooh, Jazabek yeah, Have yeah. you seen an, Enough of Newcastle This season To talk about Anthony Gordon Yeah but that Controversial Game against Arsenal The 1-0 loss In November Oh the VAR Scandals Wasn't it yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not down to him, though, is yeah. it? That's down to more the refereeing in this country. 
But yeah. I think Anthony Gordon is a very he's good shout. Man. I think he's good. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with that. He's been good. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree with that. Anthony Gordon, I think, should be our left back. What about you, Jazz? From left wing, you mean? Yeah, what did yeah, I say? Left back. Left my, bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Left winger, definitely, definitely, uh, Anthony Gordon. Now we're gonna get onto the striker position. Holland, Watkins, Solanke, Isak. All four of them, well done. Jackson. Yeah, that's the, that's the nominees. You want Nicholas Jackson as a nominee? He should be at least up there on the this podium. This guy's taking maybe. a Mickey Jackson. Just on the podium. He's not a striker. He's, had a, he's not a what? He's not a striker. He, he's a bozo. <laughs> he's because Hoyland only scores goals and Jackson does more. He's Hoyland not a striker. looks more of a striker. Yes. He looks more of a striker. Yeah, more, did, more, more of a traditional now. How long did it take him to score in the prime? It took him... It's not down to Hoyland You need to look at United Everyone knows United have been dog shit And he still managed that's to get good, 15 that's goals easy to say, The Wingers won't provide him for him no, It's not easy, easy to, to say. say No it is yeah But sometimes as a striker You, you have, have to create your own chances yeah. And he did do that The 15 goals that he did score It's more worrying when you don't get chances The 15 goals that he did score And he's younger than And he's younger than Jackson by what Like two years as well Something like that Sorry Something like that It's two it's two. Bro, Jackson has way okay. more to his game. I, I think it should be But he's not, he's not a clinical finisher. But a striker. Yeah, he's young. He's not as clinical. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's, what, between Hoyland and Jackson? And Jackson, like, yeah. one's more clinical than the other. You want your nine to be clinical. Bro, clinical you want your nine to know that when he gets in this position, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's going to score. How many goals has Jackson scored? 14 Premier League. That's, know, that's really Chelsea. good, to be fair. That is really good. And How think, many Zoyland scored? I think uh, you got 10. 10. That's not bad for a debut season. Yeah, and yeah, especially for a... I just you need why to look at Jackson yeah. wasn't in the team season because he was inconsistent? Yeah, mm. and it's for your first season, you're bound to be a bit inconsistent, isn't it? But exactly. So and that's why Hoyland like is that's the why inconsistency. Like that. Man, he, went, he went how many games not scoring the Premier Then he went like seven in a row. Then he disappeared again for a couple months and came back towards the end. But you need to think about... the about Nicholas Jackson. The team's not creating. Who did he score like, against? Whole... Apart from Spurs in the Big Six. Who did he score against? Who, Nicholas Jackson? Yeah, he scored against Man City. But and if he I remember... He's padded as well. <laughs> what, because he scored four against Tottenham? <laughs> he's, he's got, got that, that in him, him man. <laughs> nah, he's got that in him. And he yeah. misses loads of chances as well. He's yeah, got that he in gets, him. He gets it. Nicholas yeah, Jackson that's can score good enough. That's the same thing with Darwin Nunes. He missed that zero against Nottingham That's not good enough. You lot probably would be above six, yeah? if Jackson was finishing his chances. Mm. I can't say that about Hoyland. I can't say, oh yeah, we had a, such a bad season because Hoyland didn't, no, no, no. Doesn't we weren't making chances. Enough. If Hoyland got the chances that Jackson would, I know that we'd be above. I by the way, he wasn't, by the way, he wasn't even playing for most of the season. Modric, yeah. he, well, he, was, he was five goals, two assists. Mm. But why a lot of people call him overrated? He came from the Ukrainian league. You know how high... You know the difference between playing in the Ukrainian league and playing in the Premier League? is trash. Yeah, no. Not trash. Yeah, right. Modric is trash. Hey, I'm more good than Rashford this season. <laughs> yeah. You forget it. He's better than all your wingers. Does that make him better than Rashford? He's better than all your wingers. No, he's, he's not. He's had a better season than all of your wingers. No, he's not. Which no, he's winger? He's had a better season than Modric. He's scored against Orville, against Fulham, he's scored against Newcastle on the Carabao Cup. Had a better, Garnacho's had a better season than me. I mean, even the I small window true. that we've seen... Of oh, Ahmad, any any oh, footballer that has here, a football man. brain knows Ahmad, Ahmad is a better on, player than Woodrow. He's not even on level, bro. Madueke. He's not even That's always cutting and cutting and doing flair. Well, well Madueke is what? Eight low. goals in the Prem. Yeah, Madueke has had like... eight goals in the Prem? Yeah. Yeah. Madueke? Yeah, yeah. So he got eight goals. Yeah, bro, what's I, Ahmad doing? I would trust doing, Jazz I'm trusting Jazz What's Ahmad doing and sitting on the bench? Oh, yeah, you want to talk about... <laughs> what, hard, oh, yeah, he's getting out. It was kind of the Crystal Palace game in December. It was, it was Modric and Madueke. Please, please, please don't mention Modric to me while speaking with you. He's <laughs> an abysmal <laughs> player. No, right, let's get, back in, let's get back to the strikers, though. So we got Watkins, Isaac, Haaland and Solanke. So Jackson is not on a nominee, but yeah, we've just... I don't want Haaland to... You don't want Haaland in this team of the season. Why? Because this is not... Like the best Haaland. Like we were talking about just this season. What, 24 I've goals? Well, how many yeah, goals? Yeah, 27. 27, 27 yeah. goals in that man's Yeah, but I think the thing about Haaland this season. How many pens, it's, though? It's not, it's, it's, a couple pens, it's yeah. missing in the big games, especially in the Champions League. Yeah, but in the Premier League, I still yeah. think he's be one of the better players. This, this better is the Prem team of the season. So yeah, look at it just in the Prem. Yeah. I still would put Watkins above. Well, yeah, but do you tell me the chances he missed against the? He misses loads, though. United. 
Yeah. That's, that was one of the worst yeah. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's, he's missed a few chances. Okay, let's go. And Wojcik was so wrong to call him a league two player. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree. That was yeah. so harsh. There was no need for that. I feel like Roy Keane's just bitter Roy about him. Yeah, Roy, Roy Keane's a hater because of his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm upset. Like but what about Ollie Watkins then? The season he's at, double digits in both goals and assists this season. Um, Plus, I'm pretty sure he won the Playmaker Award. Yes, he did. He did. Um, I feel like, for me, Watkins is my striker for the team of the season. So, thank you, deserves a shout as well Solanke does deserve a shout and he is on there Dominic Solanke is on there for England as well no he Uh, he did I think he's being so underrated because of these reasons yeah. Tony was up, banned man. for what nine months yeah, and then he, came, and and then he came back an yeah, and then he yeah. came back and he didn't do anything he didn't do really. nothing yeah he came, scored five goals and then he went missing yeah nah yeah what do you think and plus Walker did he score against uh, Arsenal he scored against yeah. Chelsea yeah well, a majority of traditional the big, big six, six yeah, yeah you're yeah. right yeah but there's something about Watkins man that nah. I wouldn't take I don't him. Get it. I hear what you're saying. Season, yeah. I'm not that I wouldn't take him, but it's, just, it's hard 20, to pick 21, him up above Haaland. That 7-2 flash against Liverpool, didn't he score like two or three? Uh, might have done. I can't remember exactly how many, but yeah, he, he's definitely been key for the way they do play. And I think for me, Percy, for that reason, Ollie Watkins has to yeah. make this and, team. And he creates chances as well. Like his assist numbers is high. Yeah, so, so high. It's, 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 it's like when he's not scoring, he's still doing something. It's hard yeah. to say that for a lot of strikers. Key um, to the way Emery plays. Yeah, and exactly. plus, he's the first ever Aston, Aston Villa player to score at least double digit goals in the league for Aston Villa since who? Oh, I don't know. I can't. Maybe Benteke. Benteke. Yeah, yeah, probably Benteke. Benteke. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because that was the last clinical player. So I'm voting for Ollie Watkins in this one. We didn't even actually speak about Isaac, Alexander Isaac, and the season he's had. I just what, feel like 19 cold. Premier League goals something along them lines yeah he's been cold. fantastic and his goals were quality player. yeah every single I, I love one. all these goals man he's quality yeah. if he didn't have an injury patch in this season yeah. he might have been number one I, I heard of this I heard it from Pittside you had Phil Baker that Tom that Tom guy who's the West West Brom fan yeah he had yeah. some he says that and and the, or the camera guy, I, <laughs> the cameraman for Pitts, I said that East Side would win a Ballon d'Or before Haaland. How do you feel about that? That's one of the most ridiculous things I ever heard. <laughs> we, yeah, Harlan, I agree Harlan with gets that. gets a lot of disrespect. Yeah, too Harlan gets disrespect. too much disrespect. He's an actual striker and yeah. he likes a ridiculous amount yeah. of It's a crazy statement, but I see where he's coming plus, from. Isn't mm. he, and plus, he's only 20 years old. He almost has 300 goals. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah, 100%. He's like a... He's and plus, a, in the Champions League, he has 41 goals. Like forty Champions League goals in forty games. Mm, yeah, no. That's but do you want to see Haaland win a Ballon d'Or for the love of the game? In it, like I think last season, last season, like season yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last season was his season. Last season, last season, absolutely. Because because like yeah, yeah, but the thing that didn't win, he won the Ballon d'Or. Not going to semi final or final of the Champions League. Yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. I but yeah, I think I think these are all fair shouts. Yeah, he did score in the Champions League. Yeah, he did. So yeah, but but like, but when you talk about his goals last season, the only good one was that. Scorpion thing against Dortmund. Dorman, the five goal thing against goal, Southampton. He always scored some freak goals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. his first goal was like, like against West Ham. He was like, what? He chugged it and he caught into the bottom corner. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. But compared to Mbappe, oh, such a ridiculous thing. Mbappe's yeah. on his own <laughs> level. Who's that? Mbappe. And, Mbappe, yeah. He's yeah, been yeah. better Mbappe this season, though, yeah. Mbappe. And Mbappe. Yeah, Mbappe's been way Mbappe's better than Holland this season. <laughs> What the season? had forty four goals in all cards. Yeah, I feel like that Champions League. That Champions League, yeah, no, sorry, that's where you're supposed to show that you're better than Haaland, and you didn't. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he scored a he scored a brace against in Real Sociedad. He scored a brace against Barcelona. And plus, what do you think he didn't score against Dortmund? He has one of Colin Wani and <laughs> Usman Dembele. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to the voting then, Jazabek. Yeah. Striker, who Watkins. are we voting? Ollie Watkins for Jazabek. Yeah, Watkins. Watkins for Ali. I'm going to go Watkins. Watkins for Dan and Watkins for me. So, the final team is in and I shall read it out now. In goal, it is David Raya, right back, Ben White. Centre backs are Virgil van Dijk and Gabriel. Left back is Josko Gvardio. Midfield is Rodri, Foden and Odegaard. Right winger is Cole Palmer. Left winger is Anthony Gordon. And up front is Ollie Watkins. So that is the full team. I'm very happy with that. That's a very good sign. What do you think, Jazz? 
Yeah, I mean, it would have been better with <laughs> Vice. Yeah, do you I reckon? I take back what I said about Vice being the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah, I, I can understand that. But if you like that one, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.